I'm going to appoint Elon Musk, who's a fantastic guy, to lead a government efficiency commission tasked with saving trillions of dollars in fraud, waste, and abuse, and driving down inflation and driving down costs. We have tremendous fat, tremendous fat. I, I mean, just one example. When I came in, uh, I was asked by Boeing to sign a contract with for the purchase of a new Air Force One, and uh, which is actually two planes. A lot of people don't know it. In a way, it's four planes because it's you know, sort of Air Force One becomes the plane that the president uses. And I was asked to do it, and I was able to cut $1.5, $1.6 billion off the deal without any changes, except I'm, I was giving it a better-looking paint job. And we ordered new ones, you know, because we have uh, Air Force One is 32 years old, two planes, 32 years old. And you'd come and you'd land it next to some of these planes from Saudi Arabia and a lot of other places, United Arab Emirates is a beauty. Uh, but you'd land the plane, and the plane looked awfully shabby. It was time. 32 years old, so I got uh, new ones. But I, well, I came in, and they asked me to sign a 5.6 or $5.7 billion contract. Now, they're very special planes, you know, because it's like you know, people hear billions for airplanes, but they're very special. I can't even say you why, but I can't tell you that. I'm not supposed to. But uh, they are very expensive, but incredible plans from Boeing. And I said, I'm not going to sign it. It's too much. And Boeing came back, and they cut $400 million off just by my saying that. And I said, nope, it's too high. I has to, it has to have a three in the front of it. It has to have a three, because this was a five, right? 5.6, 5.7 billion. I said, nope, it's too high. And uh, they called back a week later, and they took another $250 million off. So I got $650 million with, like, about two minutes of conversation. I said, no, I'm not doing it. It has to have a three. And this went on for about a month. And I sort of forgot about it. I said, look, forget it. Well, let's not do it. And uh, lo and behold, about four months later, I get a call from Dennis. This was prior to the uh, horrible accidents, the two accidents that really hurt Boeing. I mean, it was the greatest company in the world. I think it was thought of as the greatest company in the world. And now it's uh, not Consider that they went down a long way. But this was when it was prime time, Boeing prime time, at the beginning of my term. And they said, uh, here's the story, sir. We thought we had a deal at $5.7 billion. We'll do it for $3,999,999,999. One penny less than four. I said, you had a deal. So I saved about a billion six. Same exact plane, nothing different. It's not like, oh, gee, we have cheaper engines or we have no generation system or the wings are smaller or lots of things that you can do to cheapen it up. No, the exact same plane, except we had a much better paint job. And we saved $1.6 billion. And it took me like three months. And actually, the last part was the most effective because I gave up on him. And uh, he called up out of the blue. In fact, when he called, I said, the head of Boeing, what the hell does he want? That's always the best way to negotiate when it doesn't matter to you so much, right? I said, what does he want? And then he said, you know the plane that we've been talking about a few months ago? Yeah, tell me about it. That's when he made the best offer. So, so we saved a billion six or a billion seven. On, for that, I said, so you're going to make a billion seven to build a, an airplane? That was the way I looked at it. And we have so much. Elon Musk is a master of that, and he's so into it because he loves the country so much. He endorsed me with a, the warmest endorsement. He thinks it's very important that I win because we're going to save our country. If these people win, we're not going to have a country. But uh, we're going to have Elon do it, and he'll be able to save, I think, trillions of dollars. I really do. I think trillions of dollars. And nobody in the country will feel a thing except we'll save our country.